i det Rajao Lapilato. Der er masser af mennesker, der har penge og gerne vil hjælpe. Mm. Så stiger chancen for, at vi får Daniel hjem i live for hver eneste krone, vi kan samle sig. Men vi mangler stadig 5 millioner kroner. Og hvis vi ikke finder dem nu, så slår de Daniel ihjel. Well, thank you for talking to me today about Help for Ransom. What a powerful film. Uh, true story of Danish photographer Daniel Rai held hostage for 398 days in Syria by ISIS. Were there concerns for accepting such a role with such an intensity? Uh, no, actually, I was. Uh, I, I read the book like uh, in just in one day. I started reading it and I couldn't finish. So I, I dropped sleeping and then just read it. And then I talked to the production company who had the rights for it. And I said, I really wanted to, to have a go at it. And then they let me and uh, I got it. And I was just so into it. I just wanted to do it. And not only is it, is it a, an expose on what Daniel Rye went through, but also the family back in Denmark as they try everything in their power to save their son. So we see both worlds of you know, the out, outcome of what happens when someone is kidnapped for ransom. Mm -hmm. That's true. And that was also the, the whole thing about the movie is also a lot about the family and how they cope with it. And I could, as a family man myself, I could really relate to that. And I think a lot of people can. So. Yeah. And, and Daniel befriends James Foley, an American journalist. For you as an actor, was there a special bond between you and the actor playing James Foley? Yeah, I mean, I mean, for all of us who were there in that room playing uh the hostages was it was a, a a tight relationship that came out of that and i still i still talk to daniel today and we're good friends so that continues and as an actor did you incorporate any method acting to your performances or because there were some intense scenes that you had to go through did you prepare yourself in a different way or did you just were you able just to turn on a performance No, I th of course I, I stopped eating. That's uh, to <laughs> to lose a lot of weight to be able just to look like like Daniel did. Um, and then I researched a lot, like you do as an actor. But I think that's just my job. Well, um, his struggle in captivity, you know, it, this role had to be just such a taxing on you emotionally. Were you able to turn off the performance at the end of the day? Could you go home and turn Daniel Raya off, or? Did it stay with you for many, many weeks, or even after the day of shooting was over? No, but I mean the whole the whole experience and, and Daniel's story was something that moved me very much. Um, but when we're shooting, we're shooting, and I'm a professional, so so that's it was just we're doing it and we're in it, and then you you don't take it home with you like that. But our shooting days were quite intense, so and we shot in in Denmark and in Sweden and in Jordan and yeah and, and for an actor when you saw those sets you know to see what Daniel went through um what was your first reaction when did you see that as it was happening or did you see it for the first time when you got on set no we we, we had rehearsals and stuff like that and we researched a lot so I, I had seen how it looked like but we had actually we had Daniel down uh for some of the shooting he he came down and, and saw what we were doing when we were in Jordan. And then uh, at, there was a point when he was, he we spoke and he, he told me that he never saw the hallway where they were taken from the cell to wherever they were going to the toilet or stuff like that, uh, or to the interrogation rooms. He never saw that hallway because he was always blindfolded. So now he could stand and watch the hallway or, and that was a big thing for him to watch that. And what I took away from this movie was the dangers for journalists, you know, to be in, in that theater of war or in the Middle East or any anywhere in harm's way. And I kept thinking of the journalists now in Afghanistan. I mean, it just... They, yeah, exactly. There's still people yes. uh, taking hostages there. <sighs> yeah, so this, this movie is very relevant even today. And just it shows the courage that these journalists have to get the truth out and the risks they take. And your performance... Exactly. Just, I think that's one of the big themes about it that that makes it that makes it you have to watch this because it, it's important to know because people are going out there journalists are going out there risking their lives to let us hear what's going on in the world yeah, otherwise comes, we, would, we would be blindfolded right truth comes at a price yeah absolutely so yeah, it does.
Thank <laughs> you.